guys, it's time for the purge. <laughs> I'm just getting rid of handbags, guys. Don't worry. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back. And today I am doing some end of year handbag clear outs. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, all designer and fashion related. I love sharing with you all my tips and tricks. If that is something you're into, please remember to hit subscribe below and ring my bell so we can become best friends here on the internet. <laughs> Okay guys, um, I decided to do a little handbag clear out and I decided to share it with you. I just saw Mel Sidero's video, gosh, it was like last week about how she got rid of like 25 handbags. If you don't follow Mel, you're crazy because she's the ultimate like handbag obsessed and her and I are the exact same age. So I feel like I can relate to her so much and we both have big collections but hers is a lot bigger than mine is and she went through and got rid of all her bags and she ended up getting her dream Birkin that she always wanted and I actually ended up purchasing one of her bags because she was selling on Rintage so I'll be revealing that to you shortly when it comes in very excited about that but when she was talking different things like that it made me decide to look at my collection because I'm getting ready to film you know my handbag collection and I was thinking about doing it like two parts or three parts and maybe doing it by actual like designers, stuff like that to make it so it's not like super long or anything. And as I was like making a list of bags, I did like a mental list in my head. I was like, okay, what bags do I have? Blah, 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 blah. And then I realized that I have not worn some of these bags. And there was a bag that I forgot that I had in my collection. So even though these are bags that I'm going to show you that I like, these are bags that I see and I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I love styling them. It's not that I don't love the bag. It's just that I don't reach for them. You know, I was noticing I'm becoming a, like there's a fine line between, between coming a bag like hoarder, bag collector. And there are bags in my collection that I, I love, but I don't wear that often, but I definitely wear them, you know, a couple times a year. Whereas these bags, I haven't really reached for. And I also went back and looked on my Instagram, you know, she's the posh on Instagram to see like how many times I took pictures of these bags. Was it really that many times? <laughs> I had to scroll for a while to like find them. So that's when you know it's time to just let these go. And I think a couple of these might surprise you, but I wanted to do this before I did my handbag collection videos, but I always am constantly purging. I try to, when I bring a new bag in, get rid of a bag and I don't really ever share with you like the reasons why. So I thought I'd do like a short little video with, I have four that I'm getting rid of right now. And I thought I'd share of why in my thought process with that. So maybe it'll help you let go of some handbag babies to bring other beautiful ones back into your life. First one is a Chloe bag. And this one was on the fence last time I did my clear outs. And I think it's time to let it go. So this is my Chloe Fate medium. And this is in the Purr calf skin. And this is a leopard. Now, this bag is absolutely gorgeous. When I see this bag, it brings me joy. However, I have not worn this bag in over a year because it is a little hard to style this bag due to it being black and leopard. Even though I believe leopard is a neutral, you have to make sure you have like a solid pattern on the outside. Like I like to have like, you know, a solid color coat or something like that. And I wear this in like the winter time mostly. And I do have another Chloe Faye. And the other Chloe Faye that I have, I enjoy wearing more. It is a suede. You wouldn't think that I'd want to wear it, but I love the colors and those colors are actually really in right now. And I'm not finding myself reaching for this. I have not carried it. It's been a year since the last time I carried it. And because of the type of bag it is, there will, I'm starting to get some wear like right here on the bag where it's starting to wear off the fur. So, I know it's going to get to the point where there's going to be too much wear and I'm not going to want to carry it. And that's not something I can fix. So I haven't been carrying it. What is the point of just having this like sitting around, not being used when there's probably some, someone out there that would absolutely love this, want to rock it and I get a great deal on this. I bought this bag right around $900. I think I'm going to sell it and maybe only get $600 to $700 for the Chloe phase because they're not as popular anymore. But yeah, I think it's time to let this one go and give it to like a new home because right now she's just been sitting and hanging out and I've been holding on to her because I love her. I love looking at her 
When I do wear her, I love it, but I'm just not reaching for her. I'm sorry. Faye, it, it's not you. It's me. And the last three I have to share with you are all Louis Vuitton bags. So my Louis Vuitton collection is going to be a lot slimmer after this one. So this is the Louis Vuitton croissant bag in the size MM. Still love this bag. Absolutely gorgeous. I have not carried this bag in a year. It hasn't been since like last fall and I got this bag last summer because I looked back and I'm like, okay, last fall was the last time I wore this. I have not reached for it at all this fall. Granted, I'm not leaving the house that much anymore. Love the style. I love the look of this. It has nothing to do with the bag. This is a great bag. It's a hobo style. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Love how it looks on. I'm just not reaching for it. And I got this for a great deal. I want to say I got this croissant bag for probably under $500. It's a vintage piece. Came with a dust bag. I did one of those auction pieces. So this is one of those bags that were on my list. If I could find it for a good price, I'm going to. And just on the inside with this bag, it just had some like it has like ink marks and stuff like that. So I shouldn't, I don't expect to get that much for it. I'll probably just get a couple hundred bucks for it, but I do definitely recommend this bag. It's just, I have a lot of bags in my collection and am I reaching for this? No, in a couple years from now, will I reach for it? Maybe I'll reach for it, but like you shouldn't just keep things just to keep them. And that's what I'm trying to be. Like when I did my resolutions, I'm trying to be buy smarter, be a better consumer. And that's why I love with buying Lux is that I can resell these. I can sell these and give them to somebody that could really love them and use them. And I recommend definitely going for the vintage route and buying pre-loved. It's great for the environment and your wallet. So yeah, it has nothing to do with not loving her. I do love her. I think she's gorgeous when I see her. And that's the part when it's hard to part with bags because you still love them. Like I pared down my bags. I got rid of all the ones I don't love. These are just ones I love, but I just don't wear. I mean, most likely I'm not going back to work full time for a while. Like I'm not gonna be doing events. Things aren't gonna be normal for a while. And I shouldn't just hold on to things because maybe, you know? Next, I have a bag right here, which is a sought after piece. I found it for $800 with everything. So I found this one on Poshmark. This is back in my Poshmark days and I actually bought from them before they made me mad. It's this piece right here. It is my Louis Vuitton Felici in the monogram with the fuchsia lining. This came with everything. So you have your little pocket here and then you have your cards here and then you have your chain strap with it. And I used to wear this like there's so many multiple ways to wear this. This is a great bag. I have a video all on the different ways you wear it. Like you can wear it as a belt bag. So there's so many great ways to wear this. Then you have this piece here, which this used to be like my travel bag. So I would put my cards and everything in here and I could just easily put this in another bag. When I was traveling, I would carry this bag with me and stuff like that. So this bag I have not used since last time I used this bag was February of last year and that is because that is the last time I traveled. I have not traveled since then except I went to the beach which was driving distance to the beach. I ended up taking Prada re-edition bag. I love that because I have the little pouch thing that I put my my AirPods in and I love how that hangs there. It's the perfect size. I can fit stuff in there. Fine. Crossbody. Very comfortable. And I just didn't wear this one. Like I was traveling. Why didn't I why didn't I bring Oh, I did bring this bag. I actually did. I did bring this bag because now I'm remembering myself with this bag in one of the pictures. So I did bring this bag and I wore it once when I was out there. It was more forced because this is my travel bag. So when I went to the beach, I remember now that I did actually wear this bag. Looking back on my pictures, I remember, like I just had a brain fart there. I remember I did wear this at the beach. However, it was more forced because this is my travel bag. I'm like, I need to bring this bag. It's a travel bag. It's the one I bring. So I think it's time to let this one go. And it's hard because this is a piece that it's hard to get. Like they don't really have these pieces anymore. This is like a sought after piece, which is why I was so excited to add it to my collection. I think it's very, very valuable. I think it's great because of all the different ways you can wear it. And I love that it comes with these pieces. So you have a pouch. It's like perfect for travel because you can take what I used to do is dissect it and take this pouch out and put different things in here that I would need, maybe loose jewelry pieces. And I would stick that in my travel bag. And then I would use this. It's just, it was a really 
It's a really great bag. And as I say this stuff, I'm like, I'm trying, I'm starting to talk myself out of getting rid of this one. However, I need to, because in reality, I'm just not reaching for it. And that's what happens to me. I end up talking myself out of letting these pieces go just because it's sought after and it's hard to get, but that's not a reason to keep something in your closet, just sitting there. Last, I have a big bag in here that surprised me because this is a bag that everyone loved. That was hard to get at one point. I mean, now they're easier to get. They are more expensive, but they are available online from Louis Vuitton. So they're not like a super sought after piece anymore. But I wanted to love this because everybody freaking loved this. And I thought, well, I will love it too. But I ended up not, guys. And it's a, the full set because I bought this brand new. I know, shocker. It's my Pouchette Matisse. Guys, this is the bag that I forgot I even owned. I forgot I owned this bag. Like when I was going through my mental ones of like the bags that I have in my collection, I forgot about this one. And then I look back on how many times I've worn this and I wear this like since I got it. I got this, I wanna say last year. I got this bag. I wanna say I've had this bag for about a year now. Remember it was like one of those wish list items in my cart. And I figured that if it ever was available, I should just buy it because it's not after piece. It was one of those ones where it was like, if you bought it used, you're going to be paying close to retail. So that was not, I would never want to pay close to retail. So when I saw it show up, it was like available on my wish list. I just bought it, not thinking about it. Then when I opened it, like if you see from my video, I was kind of disappointed. It, it just wasn't, it was my first like online Louis Vuitton experience and brand new Louis Vuitton experience. I, I never, I never gone in the store. I'm not an in the store shopper person. I don't have any of those places near me. Louis Vuitton doesn't necessarily wrap their pieces up nice. So like, it's just in a dust bag in a box and the box is thrown into another box. It was like tied up in ribbon. So that was nice. And they did include like a sample, but like this wasn't wrapped up. Like I just wasn't, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And then when I got the bag, I just thought that maybe the corners were a little off, like a little weird. I mean, it's nothing major, but I thought, oh, that's kind of a little weird. And I probably should have returned it because they are just, this one corner is a little wonky, like not like crazy wonky, but just a little bit. But then I thought, no, it's so hard to get. I'm never going to be able to get it. I should keep it. And you shouldn't. If there's something weird about a bag, you should not keep it. And then I wore it and I really didn't like, like, I thought I would like carrying it like this and I really didn't. This is actually pretty stiff. It's not, I didn't really enjoy carrying it top handle. I know there's a zipper, but I just didn't find it. Like and when you open it up and you have the strap and everything and you put your stuff in here, you really don't, you can't fit tons of things in here. And when you shut this bag, it's hard. For me, I would always have trouble like shutting it sometimes, lining it up. I just, for some reason, I just enjoy wearing this. And then maybe I thought maybe it's because I got the monogram. Maybe if I had gotten this in a leather, I would love it more because when I'm craving like monogram, I go, I go for my Louis Vuitton No Way bag because I just love the look of that. And, or I go with my mini No Way or my mini sack plat that I have, those nano ones. Like those are absolutely gorgeous. That's what I reach for when I think of monogram. I'm not really reaching this piece. And I literally guys forgot I had it. It's just not, it's just not for me. And I don't know why, <laughs> but that happens. And I think it's, I got myself talked into it because everybody raved about it. How amazing this bag is, how awesome this bag is. And it just wasn't for me. I just, anyone else like not love the Pichette Matisse, like got it and like, I'm probably so weird. That's so sad. And part of me, like, I'm like forcing this love because I'm like, maybe I can trade this, this flop, like flip that flop, which I've done with some of my bags. Maybe I can like sell this bag and try it in the leather version and see if I would like that better. Cause I think I would like the look of it because canvas is kind of stiff, it's not soft. Maybe I would love that and wear that one more. Maybe that's what my problem is, but I don't know. What do you think? Do you think you prefer, like are there, is there anyone out there that thought they loved the canvas but got it, hated it, and then switched to the leather and like was so in love with it when they switched to the leather? Should I try the leather version? I mean, this was 1800 when I got it, right around 1800. 
and I think the leather one is over $2,000 now. So I think I can find them used for a better price though because Bichette Batiste is not like super popular as it once was. Let me know your thoughts down below. And I would love to know, are you going through your bags? Is there bags that you just like, have you ever forgot you had a bag in your collection that costs so much money? You're like, how could I forget I had that bag in my collection? Do you ever just go through and just decide to like purge some of these pieces, even though you love them? Like, how do you make your difficult decisions on your pieces. And as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again. Bye guys.